Forrester. Tries a big switch. Will it work out? It might do. McClelland. Lennon will run onto this and have a crack. And it took a clip, so it's a corner kick. Yeah, good diag from Chris Forrester. It didn't really favour McClelland, but he gets up really well. Beats Gannon in the air. You recycle it here. Levy lays it off to Lennon, telling him to go and strike it. That's a good take. And a roll through to Boyd, up against Redmond. Boyd tried to turn. Might fall to Smith here. Smith. 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 A let off for Pats. Good play by Shells. That's lovely build-up play from Shells. Prodding, looking for those holes. The ball makes its way to Matty Smith. Freeman stands him up 1v1. He always wants to get that ball out of his right foot. He walks the half yard, gets the shot off. Keating back inside. Kavanagh. Kavanagh tangles with Burt but keeps the ball. Kavanagh! Good save by Kearns. Granted one you'd expect him to make. Yeah, nice bit of play by Kavanagh. Gets his shot off. Just needed to be a little bit more into the into the corners. It's always straight down the middle. Always favours Kearns in the Shelbourne goal. Was Boyd fouled? Rob Harvey jogs over. Really good job for young Sam Cortis, but we missed him at right back. Kavanagh. Kavanagh rolls it through. McClelland. McClelland. Side netting. Levy. Did his best and in the end put so much pressure on the Shells had to put it out for a corner kick. Let's have another look. Good play by Kavanagh. Rides a couple of tackles and just plays it into McClellan. McClellan drives it across the six yard box, a bobbly one. Tariq Wilson will take the corner. Still scoreless everywhere else in the Premier Division, by the way. UCD 2 0 up against that loan in the First Division. Here's Wilson's corner. Shells want something for that, they won't get anything. Here's Coyle, the captain. Coyle will go for it, and it wasn't too far away into the shed end. Still called that despite the fact that there is no longer a shed. Yeah, as soon as Mark Coyle steps in there, you can see he's always lighting up. He was always going to hit it. Good force touch, gets it out in front of him. But always leaning back. Never trouble Stanley Rogers in the, in the Pats goal. Boyd. Brilliant at that, Boyd. Smith, he's fantastic. He's a good player. Well, he's a very good player. Jarvis, speaking of good players. Jarvis! Just couldn't quite turn it in. The idea was good, though. Look at Freeman again. Freeman is staring at the bench. I'm not sure who he's looking at. But he needs to get a hold of Jarvis. Jarvis has had two or three chances now. He's had Freeman one-on-one -on -one a couple of times and left him for dead. Freeman does not look confident in them 1v1s. Lennon. Lennon. Looking for Turner. Finding Turner. And he just couldn't quite get to it, Redmond. It was a good attempt. Shelburne put it out for a corner kick. Two centre halves nearly combined. <laughs> Luke Turner wins the ball at the back stick, heads it across for Joe Redmond. Mm -hmm. Joe Redmond seen his names in lights. Kavanagh, Kavanagh, still Kavanagh. Kavanagh will have a go, and it wasn't far away. Well, that's much better play from St. Pat's. Chris Forrester picking up the ball. This time he's acres of space, acres of time to get his head up, gives it to Kavanagh. Gets the wrong side of that Shelbourne midfield. Drives at the back four. None of the centre halves fancy coming out and meeting him. So he gets his shot off. Coyle. Good ball to Boyd. Boyd goes outside. Smith is in the box along with Boyd. Oh, that is quite the goal from Jarvis. It looked like he was going to cross it instead. He aimed for that bottom corner and he found that bottom corner. Shells lead by one goal to nil. It's a fantastic goal by Will Jarvis. His third of the season. It's an outstanding finish from Jarvis. I said in the fourth half, Freeman is too standoffish. Look, Jarvis gets the ball here. One touch, two touch. Let's him walk into the box. Never once closes the distance between them. And he just passes it into the net. It's a lovely, lovely finish. But Freeman's got to get himself down the channel of the shot. He leaves that side of the goal wide open for Jarvis to go and hit. And he hit it superbly. Well, it, Bert making his way down the right. Here's Gannon. Bert ahead of him. Gannon sweeps it into Bert, who finds Boyd. Smith is making a break. But they've got a free man. 
And that's Jarvis, and that's two. What a finish from Jarvis, cool as you like. He had acres and acres of space. He had time to pick his spot, and he did. And now the keeper has to pick it out of the back of the net as Jarvis celebrates his second of the night. He had a build-up play from Shelbourne again, it's brilliant. Liam Bort at the heart of it. As soon as he gets the little pass off there to Sean Boyd and opens up the whole pitch, they get it out to Jarvis, and again, it's two or three yards between him and Freeman. You're surprised by how tall he is when you see him in person. That's what I meant. Here's Levy. Nice turn. Levy pulling out some tricks. It might go through. Keating just couldn't quite get enough on it. It's good play by Levy. As soon as he crosses the ball, it was under hit. Didn't look like anything was going to come from it. Somehow squirmed its way through to Keaton. Don't think he was quite expecting it either. I think that's Wilson, but Kavanagh wins it back. Cavan has crossed. Mulraney puts it from back. Really good play. Really good finish. St. Pat's one, Shells two. It's a brilliant ball in by Cavan. Mulraney just goes into the box. Doesn't have to do too much with the ball in. Just has to help it on its way. It's a brilliant little flick header from Mulraney. And all of a sudden, the crowd in Inchicore are back on side. They're back involved. Mulraney, who scored a brilliant free kick against Shells last season here, delivers with the header tonight. It's Levy, back outside. Here's a dipping cross. Mulraney almost there again. Might fall for Breslin, who didn't catch his shot right. What a ball in by Kavanagh. Whips it into the edge of the six-yard box. Never the right decision, wasn't there to be hit by Breslin, but swung on it anyway. Breslin, in it goes. It's flicked on by Redmond, and out, and it falls to Farrell. And that's it, Shelburne have made it five wins from six. What a start to the season it's been for Damien Duff's team, who extend their lead at the top. St. Pat's 1, Shelburne 2.